Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. So the moment has arrived. We're going to be doing the 500 subscribers giveaway. So I'm just gonna make this short and simple. I'll throw the specs of the blade up on the screen here for you guys. So getting straight to it, what I'll be doing for the Spyderco Ambitious giveaway is the scales are gonna be made out of brass and I will be doing a scalp texture. I will be creating a backspacer that I think will go nicely with this blade. Now the pocket clip is also going to be made out of brass. I'm gonna to try to get as creative as I can with the pocket clip itself. And last but not least, I will be etching the blade and the liners and then giving it a nice stone wash. I think it'll just look really, really good. Uh, with in contrast with the brass scales. That's what I'll be doing. So let's take it apart and see what we're dealing with. The Ambitious takes the T8 bit for the pivot screw and then a T6 for the rest of the hardware. All right, so there it is, all taken apart. Pretty simple setup. And the washers are pretty interesting since they have holes throughout them I'm assuming for better lubrication but that's the blade all taken apart so let's get to customizing it
All right, everyone, here it is, all customized. So I guess we'll start with the scales first. I wanted to do the scallop texture, but I wanted it to fade out just to have a different different look to it. So you get your satin stonewashed finish on the back half, and then you get your scalp texture, mainly where you're gonna need uh, most of the grip on the front of the blade. So those are the scales, I did that to both of them. For the back spacer, which wasn't really necessary, I just wanted to create something that this knife didn't have. I think I achieved the look that I was going for. We'll see in a minute what it looks like when I put the blade together. And then I also did the scalp texture from the front end to the end, faded out. Now going to the blade, as you guys saw in the middle section of the video where I was doing my thing, I didn't fully crown it, but I gave it a nice crowned edge on both ends. It's definitely very subtle but you can definitely feel it when you put your thumb on the spine of the blade. And then I also did a small chamfering on the spidey hole, just so it's not as aggressive on your fingers. And the stone wash came out really, really good. Super happy with it. And then I gave it a nice sharpen. So this thing is ready to cut. So that's the blade there. And my favorite part about this blade is the pocket clip. My goal was to make it reversible, which it is. So if someone wins this and they're left-handed, they can use the clip. Super happy with how this thing turned out. This took me this took me quite a while to get down and I only have one shot at it. So if I messed up then I would have had to have restarted and that would have been a pain but I would have I would have restarted. But I like the back end of this because it kind of looks like a like a Porsche rear end in a good way a good rear end but yeah it's just got that cool hollow look to it and then I did the same underneath the pocket clip as well so it's got the same design just flipped underneath again just subtle touches really I think are what really make a blade different and custom and unique I also did the scallop texture and faded it out towards the back uh, enough talking about it. Let's uh, let's put this thing together and see what it looks like cuz I'm I'm pretty anxious myself. All right, so here it is all put together. Yeah, that that etch with the stone wash definitely gives a good contrast with that brass and I am super super happy with how this thing turned out the blade is centered as you guys can see there so I did my job right spidey flicks just fine yeah the scalp texture looks looks really looks really good on the blade and then you got your satin stone wash finish which in person looks even better. The camera can't really capture the just the effect it does when you have it in hand. The backspacer looks awesome in there. So again, I tried to make it look like it's floating. I think I think it looks like it's floating, but you guys let me know and let me know what you guys think of the blade itself and the outcome. The pocket clip is great. And again, that scalp texture really really makes the texture dance again super happy with it great stone wash on the blade now i'm not a fan of holes hardware holes on a blade so i will be putting some extra screws just to just to cover up those holes that way it's not just sitting there like that so in order to enter for this giveaway you first of all must be a subscriber uh, like the video and then leave a comment down below of what your favorite Spyderco knife is. Or if you don't have a Spyderco, which one is your favorite that you would eventually purchase for your own knife collection. So those are the requirements. Feel free to share this video as many times as you can just so people can have an opportunity to win this blade. Or not, you don't have to tell anybody and 
you know, make your odds even better. But it just depends on what you want to do. But a share would be appreciated. And again, if you guys share and we, we get more subscribers, then once we get to a thousand subscribers, I will be doing a, a really cool giveaway. Now, I will be announcing the winner on Sunday, January 10th, 2021. Also, the last chance you can enter for the giveaway is going to be 6 a.m. on January 10th. Just wanted to let you guys know when it will be announced. I will be mailing it out internationally, but this will probably be the last time I do it. Only because it is a hassle and the chance of this being lost or being confiscated by customs. Uh, I just don't want to take that risk. Now I kind of understand why other channels don't really do international. But I will be doing this one international, so you guys are included as well. Again, thank you very much, you guys, uh, for helping us get to 500. And here's to getting to 1,000. Your support means a lot to me, and you guys are just really awesome. So thank you. Thank you very much. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one.